Tonight, there's still a lot of buzz in Lewiston one day after Dr. McDreamy's visit to Central Maine Medical Center. Actor Patrick Dempsey is giving back to his hometown hospital. He's provided a seed grant for the Patrick Dempsey Center for Cancer, Hope and Healing. Our Caroline Corner sat down with Dempsey yesterday to talk about the center, but she couldn't let him get away without a few questions about his career and his ties to the state. Patrick Dempsey brought his twin boys to Maine for the first time at Christmas which turned out to be an interesting holiday. It was a lot of trips to the, uh, the you know, to the drugstore for, the, uh, somebody was sick at one point through the whole time, so everybody was sick. So basically that's what we were doing. <laughs> Just taking, taking care, care of the sick. Runny noses, uh, sleepless nights, and we were like, thank God Christmas is over so we can get some rest. Oh really? <laughs> But I think anybody who has small children went through the same thing, and we had a lot of kids at the house, and that's just part of Christmas, and that's part of having kids. The great thing was that we were all there together, kind of going through this experience, and you have to really kind of, certainly with my schedule, it was, at least I was at home and, and experiencing that, so that's what it was like, and it's always good to be here, and we had a little bit of snow, thank God. What, what is it about Maine life that you really want your family to hold well, on to? You know, you know, it's, I think, for me, growing up in the country, uh, you know, and having the time to go out and run around in the woods and things like that is certainly something I want them to have and there are some really wonderful people here and uh, you know it's a great state and I, I just want them to have uh, it should be a part of their life. Now I know uh, you're big into racing do you ever have you ever taken them out to Oxford or your daughter I guess the, the, the boys are really young. No I haven't I haven't done that here no certainly. Is that on, on your, your list of things to do? It's or certainly you, uh, on mine. My wife, no. But <laughs> <laughs> Does she not want them involved in racing at all? Well, I think she's a little nervous about the boys because they have very strong boy energy that's uh, already showing itself. So I think we'll see what happens. In I see you have, in addition to Grey's, been, uh, had been an Enchanted recently. That was a huge movie. So did you get to take your daughter to that? Is that something that's kind of been fun for you to do? Yeah, tonight? she got to hang out on the set, which is one reason why I did it. And when we were doing the big ballroom scene, she could be there for that and see all the costumes. And, you know, it's one of those memories that she'll always have. And I'm, you know, proud of, uh, you know, being able to have that experience with her. Do you uh, ever get sick of doing movies for chicks and TV shows for chicks? And I'm just happy to be working. So, uh, <laughs> I don't care. No, we, uh, you know, romantic comedy coming out uh, May 4th, and you know, it's no, it's just nice to be working. Quite honestly, the writer strike obviously put a whole crimp and everything that was going on with grades. What did you do during the writer's strike? And uh, I had a lot of racing in, which yeah. was good. I had to take care of some other business that I'm um, doing, and it certainly helped to get time to take care of this as well, you know, setting up the center. Um, and then really just kind of taking a deep breath and going, okay, where, where have I, what have I just been through, and where do I want to go? What do I need to work on? And, and what, is, what is it that you want to be working on besides this, clearly? Um, you know, I think producing in the future, certainly being in control of my own destiny as far as the material is concerned. I think that is what I need to do, and I'm sort of developing some ideas. I would love to do a movie here in Maine at some point, and um, we'll see what happens with that. But And just taking stock um, of what's been happening, because I was working like four years straight without a break, and you sometimes lose perspective on what's going on and I, need, I needed to you know, stay focused on what's important and what's not. Um, any projects in particular, that any main books or something that you want to bring to the big screen? Lighthouse or? in my life is a great thing sort of about a young man growing up on a lighthouse off the coast of Maine in the 20s and that's sort of a dream project to do. So trying to just look for the right people to get involved with that. Yeah, and also trying to find the right story, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think depending on how successful my movie transition is, it, it, that will either allow me to do that or not. So is it in your future life, you think you're going to be back in Maine when, when all the fame has gone? and Certainly, I, I think so. Maybe not January and February. But <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? Do you want to leave now? Uh, <laughs> no, it's, I like the snow. But, uh, you know, certainly I, I think um, the turning point in my life and my career it was certainly right around the time my mom um, was diagnosed with ovarian cancer and we bought a farm to restore in Harpswell. It was, uh, you know, very important to have a project to keep us busy. And once I, I purchased that property, I knew uh, it gave me a perspective on how far I've come and how far I need to go. And once I did that, I was like, I could very easily live here and be happy. Anything on Grays that we should be looking for? Because there are a lot of uh, people that are watching this specifically because they want to know well, the I future of McDreamy. I think, oh no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, season five, most likely, I'm assuming that's what's going to happen. Yeah, no, I think what's going to resolve their relationship and they're going to move forward. Thank goodness. I'm ready for that to happen. You're, you're ready. So resolve in a, a positive way. Positive I think there'll way, okay. be a healthy relationship in this really? show. Really? That's possible. I hope so. <laughs> And Patrick Dempsey is going to be back on the big screen this month in the romantic comedy called Maid of Honor. And the Patrick Dempsey Center for Cancer, Hope and Healing will open March 31st.
offering education and support programs for cancer patients and their families. If you'd like more information about the center, we've provided a link to more information in the 207 section of our website.